This morning, we are watching as thousands of people sign an online petition. It aims to change the hairstyle policy at Pittsburgh Central Catholic. And looking right now, we can see that there are 6,852 signatures on this change.org petition aiming to get to 7,500. We want to check in with Lisa Washington. She is live outside the school to explain why some are calling the policy racially biased. Heather, this petition was started on Tuesday by a student who says he did it in support of his friend who was told to either change his hair or to go home. Now, the student who posted that online petition on change.org says the policy shows a lack of regard for ethnic and natural hair, and the ban on ethnic hairstyles perpetuates racial bias and stigma that disproportionately affects African Americans. I want to read to you part of the handbook for Central Catholic. It states that hair must be in its natural color, clean, neat combed and hairstyles with designs, patterns, lines, weaves, spikes, braids, locks, twists, and ponytails are not allowed. Now, the student goes on to write in his petition, while it is reasonable for my school to expect some degree of conventionality and neatness and hairstyles, these expectations ought to consider the diversity of natural hair textures people have. The problem is hair that isn't straightened doesn't fit the white cultural norm. That student goes on to write that he hopes the staff at Central Catholic and the Pittsburgh Catholic Diocese will consider this matter at hand and that one day students in our schools will be able to express themselves to the extent of their naturally ethnic hair. We're reporting live this morning in Oakland. I'm Lisa Washington, KDKA News.